Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Multiple Spanning Tree. We looked at the per VLAN spanning tree in a previous video. This protocol results in a direct one to one mapping of spanning tree instances to VLANs. For example, if there was 20 VLANs on a switch, the switch must participate in 20 independent spanning trees. This is often undesirable because each spanning tree instance takes away a certain amount of memory and CPU processing power. The number of actual unique spanning tree topologies is typically less than the number of VLANs. Running only a common spanning tree would be more efficient, but it does not allow for the design flexibility afforded by a per VLAN spanning tree. Multiple spanning tree was produced to allow for numerous topologies while preserving scalability. It allows an administrator to map an arbitrary number of VLANs to a single multiple spanning tree instance resulting in minimum number of instances needed to satisfy a spanning tree topology. For example, if you have 20 VLANs but only two unique spanning tree topologies, you need only two multiple spanning tree instances instead of 20. For switches to participate in multiple spanning tree instances, you must consistently configure the switches with the same multiple spanning tree configuration information. The multiple spanning tree configuration controls which multiple spanning tree regions each switch belongs to. The configuration includes the name of the region, the version number, and the multiple spanning tree VLAN to instance assignment map. The spanning tree MST configuration command allows the switch to be put into MST configuration mode. The name command is used to set the region name on the switch. The revision number allows you to make changes and then update those changes to what version it is. The instance VLAN command allows you to assign VLANs to an instance. The spanning tree MST priority command allows you to set the priority for MST instance. The spanning tree mode MST command makes the switch use MST as its spanning tree mode. Cisco Packet Tracer was created for CCNA students and does not possess the ability to simulate the multiple spanning tree command on its virtual switches. But by the magic of video manipulation, I'm going to cheat in order to display what you might see if it did support the command. First, let's pretend that we have already configured multiple spanning tree on all the switches. Let's shut down the links that are being blocked so we can better see the path that will normally be used to forward data packets. There are two topologies created by two multiple spanning tree instances rather than 20 VLAN instances. We can see the BPDU packet spreading throughout the network from the root switch. Both groups of switches represent the exact same physical network. So we can use multiple spanning tree to save both memory and CPU processing by assigning some VLANs to one instance, zero, and other VLANs to instance one. Multiple spanning tree can be a useful operation for reducing the amount of memory and CPU processing allocated to VLAN instances 
when you have a large number of VLANs. I hope this video was informative, and I thank you for viewing.